So here I am, the end of the journey to make the Omni. I did say that I would make a video on this when it's done. So here we are. Let's talk a little bit about this. Greetings, Dave here, DCPFX. I want to show off the Omni. This is a cool print I found on Thingiverse, and obviously the link was down below, like much like I did my progress. So this is the whole thing complete. So there's the V on top. Now this one has, you know, time waits for no man, which really was not part of Box Omni, but anyway. And the button, which I put a bit of foam in here to make it a little springy, and then have it open. Let's uh, take it down to the desk and I'll show it off a little better. So here's the Omni here. Now I left the lid with these little striations on it because you know this was just sort of made to be a little more handmade. And there's the clip. And so it's, you know, I didn't really spend a lot of time making the clip beautiful because it goes up against a belt. And then open it up. And there it is. Now these are just colored resin. I put a piece of white paper behind it just to give it a little bit more, you know, of the colored throughput. And then I added this piece here. And I was asked on YouTube, do the wheels spin? Yes, they do, obviously. Also, they are etched. Let me get this here so you can see it. Now, I originally had planned to put a black wash on those so that they stick up better, but I found once I added the gold to it, it looked pretty good. I could make the details out so I can see, you know, June, July and all those things. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. The only thing I would do probably better is I would do this clear piece a little bit better. It uh, really could use a little more sanding, a little more polishing, but I just thought it's good enough, especially for something I'm going to use just as a, as a fun prop more than anything. I can just go through and I can just set the month and set the day and set the year and all those things. And now this is just held together by four. So if I wanted to take it apart and modify any parts of this, I want to take this off and actually give these a black wash because these are individual rings as I showed off in the previous video. I don't have them handy, so I can't show you uh, them right now. I'm not sure what I did with them. I'm in the middle of cleaning off my desk. Oh, hang on. I know where they are. So there they are, there, and now they'd be next to impossible to see. They actually are etched, you just, you can't see it. Even this one here. Will it even focus? Yeah, you can see some of the years on there. There, a little bit, a little bit there. Uh, and this is the, this is the months. Let it focus. So these were all done on my resin printer it's because there's no way you're going to get the letters and numbers to show up if you do it in, in filament. Now, not to say that you can't try. I did. Uh, here, let me just put that there. Beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous? Now let's take back up. <laughs> learning as I do this with the Insta360, which I'm going to do a video on soon, learning about this because I just said, all right, take it, uh, you know, get out of desk view and go back. And it went back to the full mode. I need to set this as a position. I need to get happy where it's going to be. Maybe even put some marks on the floor here where I should have my chair when I'm doing this. But to the Omni, um, I was asked by this gentleman on YouTube how long it takes to print. I said it's about a day. And he's like, well, I don't have access to a printer for a day. I use it at the library. To break it down, I don't even know what settings I have in there. Oh, it's uh, 0 0.2 layers because I've like, got my cure right there. Two hours, three hours, two hours. And then I did in resin, a little bits and bobs also be, you know, uh, little things here will be, you know, an hour to do all that, even the, the clip on the back. Probably um, from there, you're looking another hour, two hours to do that. And then the resin, I resin printed that clear piece, resin printed that clear piece, Resin printed the globe and resin printed the rings. Now the rings, I tried a couple different ways of pouring them in resin and didn't quite work out for me. So I just put them flat on the bed 
and they worked out pretty well, although it is you know older resin, so it didn't turn out as well as it, I would have expected. But in the end, I'm happy with it because this looks, let me get this in focus if I can, used and beaten, which is what the Omni was. I could have spent more time in making this perfect, but that wasn't what the Omni was. The Omni in the show, Bog had been doing this for a while, and he was very lackadaisical in it because he's like, oh, I need to fix this, I'll do it later. And that was the, you know, that was the joy of the character. He was kind of like, I'm doing this because I got conscripted, and I love a pretty lady, and yeah. Oh, hey, kid, you know a lot about history? Come with me, let's do this. So that was the premise of the show. So I didn't go out of my way to make this beautiful because I don't want it to look beautiful. Much like... The old Star Lord helmet there. When I first started, it was beautiful. And then to ding it up and muck it up and pin it. You know, and it's such, and I've said this before, it's such a hard thing to do when you have a beautiful finish. I love how it looked. The, you know, the brass was phenomenal. And I went, oh. And the wife goes, what? What? I make this ugly. What? Look at, yeah, it's not a brand new helmet in the show. It's got to be ugly. Oh, okay. So that is an update on my Omni. Well, it's not even an update. That is the finish on my Omni. This is going to join in with my shelf worth of awesome props that it's going to be just be sitting there and i'm going to have it and people hey that's cool. oh voyagers cool i remember that show i have an omni i do a lot of that right now as i get very students in the house as they're coming through through the homestay network we've talked about that before as well we'll watch something i show them um i showed my latest student i showed them we're doing the marvel movies as we do and we show them iron man so of course i whipped out my arc reactor oh i made this and as we get to guardians here's my helmet and here's my and we get to other things here's this here's that so it's fun to do that. It's just, you know, as I said before, I love being a maker. So that is the video today on the Omni. It is a cool file. If you have access to a 3D printer or you have a 3D printer, the file is, as I said, below in the description. You can get into it. You can have some fun with it. And I love it. I love it. After, you know, a show I loved back in uh, 82 to, to be able to make this myself now. I just, it's, I tell you, for... The geeks that we were back in the 80s growing up, and it's funny because a good friend of mine, well, not a good friend, but a friend from high school, he's moving out in Calgary. He's been out there uh, for years now. He's a printer as well, and we were the same sort of person back then. We were into, you know, Apple IIEs and computer stuff and all that stuff. And, you know, the fact that we were able to take our our wishes and desires from way back when and actually turn them into things that we can actually have and hold. And, like, the fact that I have a working tricorder is pretty amazing, too. So that is just, that's my talk on that. I said I would talk about the uh, finished Omni, and I have. And now I'd find the next big thing I'm going to make. So, hey, everyone stop. Uh, stop. Anyone, thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Hope everyone has a great day, and we'll talk to you all.